We're going to look here at the yoga for the novice surfer. The thing with yoga is yoga should always be done for the individual. It's not a one size fits all kind of thing. So if we look at the needs of the individual novice surfer, they're loving their time in the water, they're enjoying the surf. Um, what they'd like is to get more waves and have more success in riding the waves. The critical problems that the novice surfer is facing is with paddling, uh, duck diving, that is pushing under the waves, and with the jump up, getting to their feet. <clears throat> so paddling is tiring. It's a lot of work on the upper body uh, and a lot of work on the back, holding the back in extension. So we need more efficiency and more fitness in that. The duck diving is hard work. It's like doing push-ups with a wave barreling over you. The jump up is really critical. If you jump up to your feet too slowly, uh, you're likely to fall. So it's a critical point getting more speed in their jumping to their feet. So let's look at some specific yoga exercises that we can use to enhance those things. Generally, yoga will improve a person's flexibility, their agility and their strength, generally. But we'll look at specific yoga drills which mimic those actions of surfing. And that takes things a lot further. And by mimicking those actions in our yoga practice, the result will be faster progress for the novice, uh, more waves for the novice and having more fun in their surf. So if we look at the action of surfing, most of the time in surfing we spend paddling like this. So the position of the spine is in this arched position, lifting up. The position of the head is looking forwards. So the muscles at the back of the neck are going to be working quite hard. Not to mention the arms and shoulders. So for the new surfer, this builds up incredible uh, tightness and uh, this is the major limitation for most new surfers. They get tired really quickly. So if we look at the action of duck diving, he's going to use his hands to push the board away from the body on one leg. And come down, Andrew. So you see, this is about core strength, but it's the connection of the arms and the leg to the core strength. It's functional core strength. He pushes his body weight up and down again with one leg off the board. This makes the action an asymmetrical action because all his weight goes through just one leg to the foot. Okay, so if we look at the action of jumping up, that is jumping to the feet. Okay, can we do that again, Andrew? The key thing is you need a powerful push with the arms at the same time to bring the legs in between the hands. And that will get you a, a, a jump up in less than one second. Uh, what most beginners do is they step up in two steps like this. And that's very time consuming. So this is a critical point for beginners improving their surfing. And the yoga that we uh, use will help to create this uh, capacity to jump up. Okay. So we're going to do a exercise around a neutral pelvis position. And this is important for uh, the health of the spine. So just to point out, a healthy spine position, it has these curves. It has a curve in the neck, it has a curve in the thoracic, it has a curve in the lumbar, and then the tailbone curves this way. 
So the optimal position uh, is with these curves. It's not straight and flat and it's not extended this way. This exercise we start by placing uh, a rolled up towel or a block just under the sacrum. See that? <clears throat> and then we just do tilting the pelvis. So you try and pull the top of the, the front of the pelvis towards your ribs and then move it away. So Claudia is doing that. So normally what's challenging is to keep this curve in the lower back but make the other curve in the upper back and try and prevent the lower ribs from moving up. So I'm going to push them down like this. The next exercise <coughs> is keep that neutral spine. You can switch off the tummy muscles, but keep a lower back yeah, like that and keeping the ribs down. And then just bring the knee up to uh, above the hip. Good. We'll try and keep the thighs vertical and the shins horizontal up a little bit. Then with the arms, reach the arms up like, you're, like as if you're holding a ball. That's it. The reason we use the arms like this is because we want to make the connection of the shoulder girdle with the core. So each arm is kind of reaching so that the armpit pulls towards the navel. But we're keeping a lower back in extension. Okay, so the next thing is breathe in. And as you breathe out, move the left leg away and left hand. That's it. And slowly come up. And right leg. And slowly come up. Good, keep going. It's about control and not about force. So we do it nice and slow, nice and steady. We try and maintain the neutral spine throughout. Okay, you can keep going. Send left leg away and follow with the hand and come up slowly. That's it. And other one. That looks pretty good. And one more thing is the press on the big toe. And that'll connect more into the inner line of the leg. So the arms up more, Andrew, and then the arms go. That's all I exhale and inhale. Okay, we're going to do uh, an exercise called horse squats. You start with your feet a little bit wider than shoulders and with the toes pointed out. So as we bend the knee, try to have the knee, kneecap tracking over the middle toe so that there's a healthy alignment of the knee and just squat up and down, reach the hands like you're scooping water off the floor. That's it. And just keep moving with breath, exhale to go down and inhale to come up. 
Exhale down and inhale to come up. It's a smooth and fluid movement. This is a great warm up. Uh, it builds a lot of strength in the lower body. It's uh, bringing mobility and strength to the hip, the knee, and the ankle. And yeah, really great for a warm up before surfing. The pelvis position is tilting the tailbone under or a posterior tilt. Yeah, the posterior tilt. And this keeps you connected to core strength. Okay, here we're going to do a, a salutation, which is a dynamic exercise. <clears throat> you can use it as a warm up. And it's really good for beginners in surfing because it builds a lot of strength in the arms, the chest, and the core. Do about five to ten repetitions and do it moving with breath. So Andrew and Claudia are going to show us. So first breathe in the arms up. Forward bend with knees a little bent. Inhale, look up. Walk back to plank. From plank, lower to low push up. Then upward dog, look up. Come back to down to lower push up. Yeah, that's it. And then plank and downward dog. Hold it there. So this part you can hold here for about five breaths. <clears throat> This position is great for stretching the back of the legs, the ankles, building more flexibility in the, in the ankle. It opens the chest and shoulders, and it has a whole lot of health benefits because it's uh, an inversion. Okay, now you guys look to your hands and walk forward. Breathe in. And breathe out with knees a little bent. And then stand up, reach up tall. Nice. And repeat. Arms up. Exhale, bend. Inhale, look up. Walk back. Plank. Lower low plank. Up dog. And low plank and down dog. Excellent. You can stay five breaths here. If you want to make this more dynamic, it's pretty hard work already, but if you want to make it uh, a bit stronger, then you can jump forward instead of walk forward. That's it. And inhale, come up. And hands down. Let's go through one more cycle. Plank. Low plank. And up dog. And low plank and plank and down dog. And then come forward by walking or jumping. And come up. So just to explain the difference between this, uh, this sun salutation and the traditional sun salutation, uh, can you show us an uh, inhaler? And plank. And low plank. I think you'll just... 
and back to low plank. So this part, no, straight back to low plank. Okay, let's do that again. Upward and back to low plank. So this part is the key. Then push straight up and down dog. Um, so what's additional in this namaskar is coming back down to here and then pushing straight back up and down dog. What that does is, can we show it again, Andrew? Start in up dog. So this action is eccentrically working the chest and arms and including biceps really strongly. So come down and then push straight back up and down dog. Yeah. Which the usual traditional yoga namaskar doesn't have that. So for surfers, they really need that strength and power in the chest and the arms to push under waves and to do the jumping up 